Well, believe it or not, I've ended up with a day when it's not been raining all day. Hard to believe, ain't it? A whole, you know, what? Like most of a day where it hasn't rained. Well, a few hours anyway. <laughs> the lady's getting ready to start back up, but uh, yeah. I've got a little bit of work done on the water wheel. Um, give a little spin here. Yep, I got a little bit of work done on the water wheel here. Let's go over some of the details of what all I've done today. Okay, this is just a little preliminary test. Um, my other wheel that I had built before, this is almost the same spot. My other one was up there. Uh, the other wheel that I had built, this amount of water that's coming out of this little pipe would not have even moved the other one. And it's turning this one. I mean, I know it's not fast, but it is turning it. Okay, so here's what I've got so far today. It will move on its own, or I mean, give it a little shove and it will move. Spins pretty freely. And I have the frame pretty much. I took a couple of pieces of this trampoline frame, cut them at an angle and welded them together. And I've got the wheel bearing for the car. These screws and bolts right here, they are not actually holding that. What's holding it is this bolt right here. And this bolt goes all the way through to this side. And it is tightened up so these bearings are pressing in and they're, they're not going to be able to come back out because this is sitting down inside of a lip and it's got the bolts too. Now for a pulley, I've got a bicycle wheel which if you look at it, it fits perfectly. Let me go to this other side to show you. It fits perfectly on this little ridge right here. It's almost like it was made for it. So, yeah, right here. And you wrap a belt around this bicycle wheel. And then the wheel will spin this way. So the transmission and everything will have to be back here. Still got to, I'm, I'm going to cut the legs off some. Uh, I want to leave them up for right now until I get everything figured may even end up burying part of it in the ground i don't know cementing i don't know but i don't want to cut that off yet but eventually it will be i got a piece of conduit welded across to strengthen the frame and this piece right here that comes around and is lens cap out of the way this piece right here that comes up and to right here, the, the wheel or the arm is actually held on to the bearing with is um, the, the strap that was holding the sway bar on the Buick. I changed the sway bar out on the Buick and these straps are what came new with the new sway bar. So I just use these ones to just weld onto here and they bolt on there and makes a good place for the wheel to be bolted of course the power output is going to be the uh, bicycle wheel so this didn't need to come all the way out the bolt didn't need to come all the way out so there we go all right I actually did a little small test with a very small stream of water and uh, it actually moved now my other wheel that I had with a small stream of water it wouldn't even move you would have to have a lot of water just to move the wheel itself so this one is already more efficient so yeah we've uh, we got a wheel now 
got a frame and now probably on the next video we will be doing the uh, transmission which will have to sit back here somewhere see the reason I want it in the back is because the water is going to be coming over the front it's going to be coming out about here somewhere and falling and hitting the paddles in the front so this whole area is going to be splashed constantly with water uh, the back will be splashed but not quite as bad so that's why I've got kind of a long belt on it see if I can show you here I should have been filming all day but I wasn't <laughs> that right there you can see how far back the transmission can sit that way maybe it'll have less splash and where I was testing it at a uh, little clip of video where I was testing this wheel that is not where it's going to end up at I have a another place picked out for it that was just a good spot to test it because I could get it there really easy and just try it out um, I have figured out that I'm going to have to seal up a bunch because I think even with the little bit of water that I had going in with the pipe I think if I'd have had all that sealed up it probably would have rolled a lot faster but I mean it, it needs trimmed up and all that kind of stuff but the only part now you can see what I did with the wood here um, it's screwed into the plastic across here like that and on the outside there are screws going in through the wheel and they go they're little big long deck screws they come way into here so the only part of this that should ever rot should be these boards because everything else is made of plastic and these will be easy to change out these are one foot one by ones and like two three four five screws and they come right out put the new one in put five screws in and you're done now the other wheel I would have to change paddles pretty often actually because they would rot out and uh, this one I shouldn't probably ever have to change the paddles unless something breaks them but all right other than maybe a little bit of paint on the frame which I'm not worried about right now I'm going to be doing some more grinding well back here where I'm going to attach the rest of the frame for the uh, transmission so I'm not going to fool with painting it and all that kind of stuff yet but I will paint it before I put it up there I'll get all the rust off paint it and maybe it'll last here's the wheel so far give her a little spin and uh, yeah it's uh, coming along it is a free spinning wheel now so that's a good thing anyway I believe uh, it's looking like we are going to get some rain once again it seems like that's all it ever does I've had to do inside stuff all the time now here lately so I guess I'm probably gonna have to call this a video really I don't feel like getting wet um, yeah <laughs> I guess that's gonna be about it I appreciate everybody watching and I'll see y'all on the next one